Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, and today you join me for 30 powerful minutes of bar cardio, part of our Flow and Glow series. So as you're grabbing your mat, your towel, your one kg weights, you're gonna take a nice wide stance for me. Micro bend at the knees and then draw the abdominals in and up. We'll start as always by grounding into the mat and breathing deeply, lifting the arms. Catch the left wrist and then slowly flow over to the right side, round to brush the floor with the fingertips and come all the way up. If you're still gathering all your things, that's no worries. You're gonna just make sure that you can see me when you're standing, kneeling and lying down. And as always, this is an intense format, so you're gonna to want to really work with your body. Take the modified base level versions of our three cardio flows, or if you're ready, of course, you can make it more intense with me. So let's go ahead and come to the center of your mat now. Roll on down bone by bone. Place the hands into the floor with care, spreading the fingers. Knees come directly under hips, wrists directly under shoulders. Lift your abdominals and then gently open the chest. Exhale, curl under, little cat and cow. Just arriving on your mat, finding breath that is gonna serve you through those three cardio flows. Find center now, hover the knees, start to drive them towards the chest in and tap. So this session is called glowing abs. You will find that each and every element of our workout, the cardio flows and the bar sections, are gonna focus in on that core, finding the deepest core as well as those six pack muscles that we all wanna show off on the beach. Good, four more, it's four. Exhale, three. You've got just two. And last one, go ahead and down dog. Coming to our first cardio flow, just taking those hands to prayer, find the feet parallel, start to jump right and left, it goes twist, twist, twist. Just 20 seconds on the mat, finding a little bit of breath, making sure if this isn't for you, you can tap, tap, you're twisting through your waistline, beautiful, let's go. Five more seconds, then we're going to hit a wide sumo stance, taking a squat and a knee drive. We're going down, twist, down, twist. So this is intense. If you have any knee issues, go gently, making sure knees slice over the middle toe. Notice my toes are slightly turned out. Spine inclines, then twist. This is really fabulous standing ab work. Good, last one. Hitting the deck, find the wrists under the shoulders, long legs for me, mountain climb. We're climbing towards our fitness goals. We made sure that each and every one of these cardio sessions contained some achievable cardio, something you can do. Yes, go four more seconds, three, then we're standing again. That's right, second round, here we go, twist. So each cardio flow has three movements. We do each of them twice for 20 seconds. That is one cardio flow. 10 more seconds right here, 10. Good, good, wide stance for that squat and knee drive in two, in one. It goes drop, twist, drop, twist. You might wanna push knuckle to knuckle, just like that, like you really are a sumo warrior. Drop, you're all warriors, you're my warriors. Beautiful breath, exhale on the twist. That's where you're gonna really deepen those abdominals. Last one, hit the deck for your mountain climb. Let's go, pull, pull, pull. Knees driving into the chest, pushing the floor away with energy, breathing into the back body. Final 10 seconds of this first flow, then we're straight into our press-ups. Good, five, breathe, four, three, two. Knees can come down, but see if you can do this. Micro press, curl knee to nose. Micro press, knee to nose. Now could go press, extend knee to nose. That's all good. Challenge yourself today. Four more, four, knee tap. Imagine you could kiss that kneecap to your nose. Yes, team. Two more, drop, press, pull. Lovely, good job. Now hollowing here. We're going to keep that hollow sensation. Come all the way down to the forearms. See if you can keep those feet hip sockets width apart. Find the most beautiful plank. Tuck the pelvis, then start to lift the hips. Up, tap left. Up, tap right. So it's a beautiful rainbow arc. Getting into those obliques. Really whittling out the waistline. Four more slow. That's three. We're gonna go half the range. 
twice the speed. Let's go, twist. Twist, now shoulders are remaining still and steady, sliding away from the ears. Good job, eight, make it sexy, team. Six, that's four. Three, then a hold. Two, last one, squeeze your legs together to touch. Just little tucks of the pelvis, feeling the abs. Ha, 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 let's go, eight, seven, six, five, beautiful, four, three, two, one, and done. Send the knees wide, take a spider finger, and just walk the hands forward, so you get a little shoulder extension, as well as a little moment of the spine. As you roll up, maybe shake out those wrists. Grab one weight, so one, one kg weight. If you don't have that handy, just hands to prayer. We're gonna to step to the front of the mat, and then raise the left heel. Set that toe directly back and in line with your right heel. So we are in our curtsy lunge. We're gonna gently start to go twist around all the way back. Pause four, three, two. So we find our deepest point and then we stay in it, pulsing four, three, two. So this is your recovery. You just did all that beautiful cardio work. Now we get into our bar technical work. Yes, so press into that little side of the weight. Easy shoulders on top, beautiful tall spine, good. Twisting like the lid off a jar. Nice, four, three, two, one. Two more, twist and twist, all the way back. Pause four, easy shoulders, three, two, maybe a smile. Last one, I'm gonna show you this one. Four, three, now left elbow, right knee. We go twist, upright, four wraps, four wrap, three, just the left knee, two, and one. Come with me, all the way twist. Staying low, four wrap, three wrap, two, good job. So it's intense. We go from all that kind of manic, high intensity movement to this really, really controlled technical movement. But it's so good for the body, breathing deeply and recovering. Two more like so, twist and twist, all the way up. It's four wrap, three wrap, tight abs, yes team, all the way round, all the way up. Pulse four, three, two, now start to reach it forward. Here's the movement, you bring the knee in, chest comes and weight comes to chest, sorry. Pull, pull, so we're back in our little cardio. I'm lightly tapping the left big toe to the back of the right calf. Getting that with the abs. Yes, just 10 seconds here. And then we grab both weights. It's 10, nine, eight, seven. We come to kneeling in six, five, four, three, two. Slide down onto your left knee. Grab both weights or you can stay with one. The right leg is gonna extend, hands to chest. We go all the way over, all the way up. So we're lengthening over to the left and exhale into that right oblique. Yes, all the way over. All the way up. I promised you glowing abs, and they are definitely glowing. I don't know about you at home. Good. All the way up, beautiful. All the way down. All the way up. This time we stay at that halfway point. We lift, we lower. So imagine you're between two glass walls. You're not rolling forward or back. And that's important for the setup to come, which will be a side-lying glute and ab combo. Just four more here, you've got me four. I've got you even three, two, and last one. Beautiful, set one weight down. Set your left arm down, slide your left shin bone forward in line with the mat. Now, reach the left, right arm over. We're gonna reach arm and leg together, all the way up, all the way down. Now, if this is stressful on your neck, you do, of course, have the option to come down here but it is more work for the abs if you're upright on the forearm, up and up. Elbow directly under shoulder, side body lifted as though you were laying over a beach ball. Good, sweeping action of the arm. We're getting glute mead. Make sure that hip is rocking forward. Last two. Weight rests onto the thigh. Just little pulses there, up and up if it feels too intense, or you need more balance, place that hand down. So always finding an adjustment and modification that works for your body, good. Eight, oh that's cooking, six, yes team. Four, three, two, one, little circles, down, up and around. Oh, so when I said we were slowing it down, it didn't mean it got easier. 
No. You've got four. You've got three. Oh yes, you've got two. And last one, reach the arm overhead. We go up and down, up and down. So single count now. We're gonna make it more complex in a moment. Four, elbow's gonna to drive to knee. In three, two, one, it looks like this. We go pull, reach, more challenge. Come up onto the forearm, pull, reach, pull. Now on the beat, pull, pull, pull. Yes, team. You have about 20 seconds here, then a quick mermaid stretch, then we are back in our cardio flow. Whoo, yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Rest the weight down. Sweep the left arm overhead, enjoy that stretch. Ooh, much needed, yeah? And then if you want to ramp things up this time, grab both weights, roll the shoulders, and we're gonna start by preparing our feet. Just finding that little weight Twist, twist, twist. 20 seconds. You're straight into your cardio flow. You'll have noticed the transitions come quickly in this format. Why? Because I want to keep your heart rate up. I want to bring it up, keep it there safely, and have you in that calorie burning zone for a very long time, about 72 hours. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. It's a wide squat. Twist elbow to knee. Down. I love this powerful movement. Really functional movement for the hips. Beautiful twist for those abs. Exhale on the twist. Yes, five more seconds. Coming into our mountain climb in three, two. Weights to either side of the mat. We pull in, in, in. Make it smooth now if you're able to. If you need to slow it down, you do, but you do not stop moving. That is your goal. Beautiful. We're standing up. Five, four, three, Two, maybe jump grab those weights if you use them the first time. Twist, 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 yeah. <sighs> Breathe. More deeply this time as you start to fatigue. Shun those negative thoughts. You know you can do it. Oh yeah, five, four. Breathe it, three, two, one. Nice wide stance. Drop, twist, drop, twist. You got it. <sighs> Exhale on that twist, yes. Knee drive, go for maximum range. A deep squat, a wide twist. Yes team, five seconds. Then you're back down into that mountain climber. Three, two, one, go, go. Pull, 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 pull. Find that rhythm, push the floor away. Spread the fingers like suckers. Yes, we only have 10 seconds to go. Gorgeous, you're nearly done with this second cardio flow. So strong, four, three, two, one, done. Good job. Okay, so grab one weight, have the other one handy for me, somewhere over there. And we're gonna step back into our curtsy. So, heels together, toes apart. This time it's that right heel that rises. Bring the toe behind the heel, rest the weight with the hands pressing into that little weight head. Round we twist, come on back. Pulse at four, three, two. So slow and control now. Active breath because this is your active recovery. So we gain strength here and we recover the muscles from that high intensity movement. Four, three, could we get lower? Two. Now hips like headlights, keep them forward as you twist. Come on back. Just press into the heads of the weight. We get a little chest activation. Twist, twist, twist. Back, back, back. Four, knees to the corners, two and one. Let's do two more, twist, twist, twist. All the way back, we pulse, two, three. Last time, let's make it strong. Twist and grow taller. Twist right back, good. One, two, and I'll show you this again from the front. So, right elbow comes to knee, all the way up, right knee only, four wrap, three wrap, two wrap, one. It's a twist through the torso, all the way up. It's four wrap three rep, two rep. I'm just gonna straighten out my mat. This happens here, it's okay, good. Three rep, two rep, one, two more. It's all the way around, all the way up. Four rep, three, could you get lower? I bet you crept up, I did. All the way around, all the way up. Four rep, three rep, two rep. Now on one, we're reaching all the way forward. Remember, as you hug the knee in, you draw the hands to the chest, up, pull, 
pull. We're back in that cardio work. Deep bend through the left knee, deep hug through the abs. Yes, building up that resistance there. Little bit of weight, not a lot, just enough to give it that burn. 10, 9, 8, 7, beautiful, 6, 5, don't throw the weight, 4, control it, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your knee, maybe grab the other weight. Left leg is long, I'm pushing the outer side of my heel away from me, hands to chest. We go lean it over, exhale, pull back. Focusing this time on the left oblique, all the way over, all the way back. Beautiful work, hands just floating by the chest, finding shoulders down, elbows wide. Are you pushing this hip forward? So you're not kind of sinking back. We're squeezing the glutes, preparing for our glute work. This time we hold at the high diagonal. We lift up an inch, down an inch. This is where you get those beautiful Calvin Klein muscles, yeah? Uh-huh, the ones for the beach. Squeeze your right glute. Let's take four more. Four, we're transitioning to the floor in three. Good job, two. Lower one weight off to one side. Come down to your right forearm, slide your right shin bone forward in line with your mat. Reach the arm overhead, toe to floor. We go reach and lift, all the way over. It's a sweeping action in the arm. It's just the big toe touching down. In fact, if you think of wrapping your heel up higher, you'll feel more in your glute and your side body. Good. Three more. It's two. Good, now last one, weight rests on the leg. Little lift, little lift, it's a tiny pulse. This is a good moment to check you're not rocked back, your hips are stacked. If you need more support, weight to ground, fingertips to floor, yes. Four more, three, then we circle. Beautiful, two, I love this circle, it carves out those glutes and abs. Circle up and around. Wah, you don't have to have the weight, remember, but it's there to add a little more spice, and we always want a little more spice. Four more. Three more. Two, reach overhead we go. Tap, lift, tap, lift. We're transitioning to that second elbow hug in four, three. We're gonna bend that left knee in two. It looks like this. We pull it in, out. Remember there's another option. A little bit more, you lift the hips. Forward, reach on the beat. It's pull, 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 pull. You've got about 10 seconds here. Make it happen, make it count. Five, four, three, then you have a breeze stretch. We're into our final cardio flow. In two, and one, rest the weights down. Briefly sway that arm overhead. Feel the side body stretch. Come to standing, you're ready to go. Final push, here we go. Twist, 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 twist. And I love this third one, you're kind of cresting that little euphoric wave, right? All the endorphins are happening. 10 seconds. Now, yeah, keeping it simple, but keeping it moving. That's our goal. Three, two, one. You've got it, wide stance. Drop, twist, tap. Drop, twist, tap. Very important, these knees go over the middle toes, yes? Drop, tap, good. Chest open, chest lifted. We're not collapsing in that beautiful squat. We're going for our full range. Last one, hand weights to the floor. Crisscross mountain climate. Yeah, oh, a little twister. Yeah, I love a twist on a classic, don't you? Let's go, go, go. Twist, 10 seconds. <sighs> Breathe it out, push the floor away. We're standing in three, in two, in one. Jump forward, grab your weights if you want to. Twist, 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 final set. You can, you know you can. You came this far. Don't stop now. Breathe it out. 10 seconds, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, beautiful. Six, five, twist, twist. Four, three, two, wide stance on one. Drop, twist. Don't make it stop, make it happen. Breathing out on the twist, remember. Like wringing out a towel. That is how we get those beautiful glowing abs. Down, up, ha. Huh. You've got four, three, two, mountain climb it out to the finish line. Let's go, pull, pull, pull. You can slow it down, but you do not stop silver liners because this is where you get the results. 10 seconds, 
Then we are into our abdominals. Yes, even more, she says. Four, three, I was working them already, you say. Two, so was I. Oh my goodness, on one, right. Swing the legs around. Have a sip of water if you need it. Grab the weights, that's an option. And slowly roll yourself down. Recovery abs. Whew, who knew? Okay, so we're bringing the knees together, toes apart. Doesn't look pretty, but it builds amazing lower obliques. So we're gonna take a little rise and lower. It's up and up, it's back and back. It's push and push, it's down and down. So you're just curling forward. Now if the weights are too much, know that you can always support the head. And the more you squeeze your knees together, the more your inner thighs and abs and pelvic floor will activate. Use the breath. Two more. Good, then we're gonna keep the head lifted or keep it on the ground. Maybe the ground is better. Let's push into the heads of the weights. Down for two, up 90 degrees. So not further than 90, that's cheating. I'm not trying to tap the floor. Imagine the mat is burning hot. I'm going a couple of inches down, driving these together as I rise, all the way down, hollow to lift. Inhale, lower. Final push in this set. Lift your weights, lower the toes. Let's tap the ankle, tap the ankle. I'm tapping my trainer. Whew, yeah, good. Reach it, reach it. You've got 10, nine, eight, and seven. Lovely, six, five second set coming up. Now you know what's happening. Let's refine that technique in two, in one. So all the way up, knees are together, toes are apart. Here we go, we go, rise, rise, lower. Rise, rise, lower. I'm always playing with rhythm because it keeps you alive. If you need to support the head, you do. It's lift, lift, lower. It's lift, lift, lower. Four more. Three more, we're gonna press into the heads of the weights in two. Now on one, keep the head down. Flip those heads of the weights down, push into them hard. Lower the toes, wide with the toes. Knees, squeeze, return, wide. Now this gives you those amazing Calvin Klein muscles. You know those male models that have the great boxer short muscles? Yeah, down and down. The ones that look good on the beach. I'm just appealing to your vanity, but it also gives you that strong, stable core to support your organs. Ever so important. Two more. Exhale to lift. Last one. This time we keep the legs up at 90 degrees. We tap. Ankle, ankle. You might not reach, but that's your goal. Twist it, twist it. Yes, you can. Beautiful, 10. Nine, nice, eight, could you reach further? Woo, yes, you've got just four more. Three, two, last one, lower the weights to the ground. Now take a minute, hug the knees. You have the option for a weight to come back and we're gonna reach it to the ceiling. Reach the legs three quarter length or all the way up. Curl on up and we'll start to scissor. Thread the weight underneath the leg that's coming towards you. So do it slowly to start out. If it's too much with the head lifted again, you rest it back down. Good. Let's take it on the beat. Here we go. We reach, reach, reach and reach. You've got four, three, beautiful job. Two, we're gonna hold one leg in, hold the right leg in. Little reaches up, up, reach beyond the back of that thigh. Scoop your abs deeper. Four, three, Two, back to your scissor. Thread it, thread it. I'm taking a little side twist, it's small. Eight, six, beautiful. Four, three, are you breathing or are you scooping? On one, left leg comes in, little breaches. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, longest legs, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down, and we're coming into our final hold. So hug the knees. Let the head rest down for a moment, maybe rock side to side. We're gonna take a big, big, big hollow hold. So send the legs out, either three quarters or long, press your hands into the sides of the thighs, curl up, hold, deepen. 10 counts here. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hug the knees in, take a second. That was your second, we're going again. Roll the shoulders down, chin to chest, legs extend. Squeeze hands into the sides of thighs, hollow, lift everything off. You've got this for 10, nine. We're in our last set of press-ups coming up in six, five, four, 
three, two, rock on up. Move those weights out of your way. Take the hands wide, take the legs long. Option for knees down, we go mini press, knee tap. Mini press, knee to nose. Mini press, knee to nose. Woo, we're in that final push. Yes, I can feel the sweat dripping. I hope you can at home. It's all going on. You've got eight, seven, six. Beautiful job. Five, yes you can. Four more. We're going swimming in a minute. So good, two and one. Okay, here's the work. We're gonna slowly lower down. Reach arms and legs long. I have a little back sensitivity. If you do too, send your legs hip sockets width apart. Send right leg up, left arm, and switch. I'm gonna raise my gaze, head out of the water, team. Yes, up. So this is a kind of reverse of all that abdominal work, but it focuses in on the last part of our abs, the back body. Start to swim, 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 yes! Now imagine there's a shark. It's coming, it's coming to get you. If you don't lift those abs deeper, if you don't go a little faster, 30 seconds on the clock, then we are stretching and cooling down. Let's go. Shoulders down the back, legs are long. Swim, 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 team. Stretch that front body. Yes, you can. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, and seven. Squeeze the glutes, six, five more abs, four, three, two, and one. Whew, bring the toes together, heels apart. Rock out the lower back. Really nice if you do have back sensitivity. Ladies and gentlemen, you made it. Let's take a well-deserved stretch and cool down. So we're gonna press the knees wide, toes come together, and gently walk the hands forward. Let the head rest into the mat for a moment. Take a deep, welcome, celebratory breath into the back body. Walk hands over to the right, and gently place left hand on top of right. Oh, feels really good to let the head go. Neck release, shoulders melt. <sighs> good. Come all the way over to the other side. Right hand over left, allowing the head to release. Good. Okay. Then as we come back to centre, we're going to come all the way up to seated. Send your right leg out long, draw your left heel in towards your groin. That leg doesn't have to be too wide. Flex the foot. If you need to sit on a little towel, it's a good idea. If you need to bend this knee, it's also good. Come all the way over, grabbing calf, ankle or foot. Ah, give me a smile. Yes. Beautiful. Nice side reach. From there, fold that right leg in front of the left, make a fist or a flat hand behind you, tuck your pelvis, and then push your hips up. So it's small, it's subtle, but it's a beautiful hip flexor opening. And if you overuse your hip flexors when you do your abdominal work, which many of us do, myself included on occasion, this is a great release. Let's go the other side. So left leg will extend and with a flexed foot if you need to bend the knee you do if you want to sit on that towel all good reach up and over maybe grabbing the calf the ankle the foot maybe you can reach really oh, beautiful side stretch so allowing the breath to come into the side body nice come all the way back placing this time left foot in front of right just so we do both sides evenly, tucking the pelvis. The tuck is the key, abs are still active actually, and then you lift and you get that lovely stretch. So it's not a big back bend, it's actually the hip flexors. Good. From there, take a little butterfly, so soles of the feet to come together, interlacing the hands, just a couple of little butterfly releases. Good. And then forward fold, allowing the head to go heavy. Back body gets a lovely stretch, breathe into the back space of the ribs. Good, and then one final little moment, we're gonna twist, just like you did standing. And it starts slow, and then we make it into a little flow. Ah, this is a Qigong practice. It's a light tap to the back body, particularly the kidneys. That's really supportive, actually, for them. You've got four more here. Three more here. Two more. Last one, let the arms come by your side. Gently sit tall, maybe close the eyes. We're gonna take one final breath together, taking the palms up, breathe it in. Breathe in all that beautiful energy, beautiful oxygen, all that gratitude for your incredible efforts, your amazing body. As the palms come together, draw the hands all the way to the heart center. I'm gonna to bow to you guys. I am so impressed as always with your commitment, with your energy and with your absolutely incredible efforts. Please take a moment to subscribe and up next is your breath and stretch sequence designed to support this program. See you guys on the mat very soon.